So I have this idea. There's so much great stuff going on in this high school that I think we need a place to share all this stuff with everybody else, the community and everybody around the school. So we're gonna start a vlog. No I can't! What? You're interrupting me here. What do you doing? We're making a vlog. What? A vlog. What's a vlog? Well a vlog is like a blog, but with video. And we're gonna post it on the internet. We're gonna promote all the cool stuff that goes on in school and basically make it a channel for us to learn our stuff and continue to learn. Interesting. Tell me more about a vlog. I just told you. That's it? Yeah. Well, there's gonna be a lot more to it, and I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. It's we're gonna focus a lot on having the teachers um, and the students contribute material for it. Sounds good. Have fun. Thanks. That was easy. on Twitter that Mr. Smith is working on this cool uh, Rubik's Cube assignment in his math class and I think it'd be cool if we check it out. So let's do that. So we're here in Mr. Smith's class, and basically he's going to tell us uh, what his Ruby's Cube assignment is all about. All right. So this is uh, my Calculus BC class, and they took the Calculus BC exam last week. And so now that it's over, they have a bunch of projects, and one of their projects is uh, this photo mosaic project with the Ruby's Cube. And there's a bunch of plans available online, and that's what we're working on right now, one of the plans that's available online. And uh, so they, broke it, they break up into groups. Each group is going to have a set of plans like this, and this tells them how to line up um, individual cubes. This is 25 Rubik's Cubes. So they're going to work on 25 Rubik's Cubes at a time and position the cubes so that they match this set of colors. And once they have all their 25 cubes, they're going to put it into a frame that I built last year. And all those 25, all those groups of 25 are going to create a picture. Right now we have to take apart Albert Einstein out the, back there in the back. Albert Einstein was made up of 225 Rubik's Cubes. The one we're going to make today is made up of 600 Rubik's Cubes. Assignment to us? Okay. So basically, what we're doing right now is making a section of a picture of the Statue of Liberty using Rubik's Cubes. These are computer generated images of real life objects. And what everyone in the class is doing right now is making a sector of each and every one of these. Now we have what? We have 24 of 24. You can make that. But essentially, what this is going to be is one point on this ginormous picture, 600 cubes, right here. And this is how it's gonna look at the end. So you guys basically make each of these, so like each of these Rubik's cubes mm. represents like one of these little squares. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. And so we just need to remember that they're all pixelated images. 
So uh, what that means is that we're basically deal with, dealing with resolution. So the more cubes, the more high definition it's basically going to be. And uh, each and every one of these cubes, each and every color, is uh, making a pattern that a pixel would in an actual real life movie or something. Bye, Mr. Smith. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, from what Mr. Smith was telling me, that next week the students are actually going to um, get their own photos and make a whole entire Rubik's Cube design out of their own photos. So maybe we'll get a chance to swing by next week and see how that's going. So we're gonna go out and check out um, the tie-dyeing that's going on right now for the Peace Rally. Are already starting to do the tie dyeing, and hopefully, we can get a chance to talk to Ms. Guzzola so she can give us some cool details about the peace rally. Coming up. So, the Social Justice Club um, is concerned about the amount of violence in the world globally, uh, violence in our um, metropolitan area, and even sometimes, you know, the way that people in our school behave. So, we really thought it would be appropriate to have a, a week of peace activities that promote peace in our school, in our community, and of course, hopefully, uh, in the world. And so we are doing all kinds of things the first week of June, leading up to what we hope to be this peace rally on June 5th. Um, we're trying to involve as many students as possible, the band, the chorus, the step team, uh, students from the art club, students from the poetry club, um, some of our special education students. Uh, anyone that's interested in being part of this great event um, that we hope can maybe become something annual that we celebrate here at the Rich High School. have no running water in their houses. It's been turned off because they've privatized the services and people can't pay their water bills and therefore they live with no water. You all raised $206.51. And I logged on to make a payment and it actually, uh, I even spoke with a woman because I wanted to make sure it was legitimate uh, from uh, the Detroit Water and Storage um, Department who was so thankful and our your money went directly to pay the bill of a woman named Ronna Ray, who's a senior citizen living in Detroit. Um, she has a bill that's over $1,000. We were the third um, contribution to her bill. And the woman on the phone was so appreciative. She couldn't believe that a high school in New Jersey actually knew about what the citizens of Detroit are going through, cared enough to raise money, thought it was the greatest thing that she's heard in a long time, asked for your, uh, you know, the club's name and the, the name of our high school, and said that on behalf of the city of Detroit and the water and storage department, she wanted to send her sincere appreciation for all your efforts. So, very good job. We have our great water bottles. I have some here. If you guys are thirsty, grab one, because now we can drink uh, the rest that <laughs> we didn't have a chance to sell. <laughs> and, um, great job, and next year we have to do a similar project. So thank you to the seniors that really you know, decided to do this. 
and I look forward to doing another one next year. Hey guys, we just finished tie-dyeing our t-shirts. So if you want to do more and help us out for our peace rally, which is going to be on June 5th, you can come out and help us and we're going to do a lot of stuff like tie-dyeing some more t-shirts, prepping the yoga mats, doing some posters and all that fun stuff. So, you should just see us next week. Either find us three, us four actually, Miss Gazola or Miss Adigan. Hope to see you guys there. Bye. Bye. So, in order for this to be successful, I'm relying on you guys. Uh, that's right, you, teachers, students, administration, everybody in this building. Uh, we live in a digital age now where all of us have access to a video camera and we can take video. So, next time you see something cool going on or you have a great assignment in class, uh, pull out your camera and start um, giving us an account of what the assignment's about or what's going on. And that way we could take all that footage and share it with everybody in the community and quite frankly around the world. I mean, we're going to post this on YouTube. It's going to be exciting. So I'm relying on you guys. If you have any questions, um, my email's at the bottom. You could shoot me a, a question on Twitter and let's get this going because it's going to be awesome, I promise. Hey Barons, it's Mr. Connolly. I'm backstage at the Senior Awards Night. It's Tuesday, May 19th. Uh, we're just wrapping up the program tonight. Our donors have given away somewhere in the ballpark, Mr. Kane says, of $75,000. I'm going to walk you out to the crowd. There's Mr. Esky in the background. Hi, Mr. Esky. There we go. We have uh, Ms. Williams is presenting some, some awards right now. been an amazing night. Uh, I got Mr. Terrell, Mr. Uh, Mr. Asan. Okay. Not our minutes Joseph will be done here, but congratulations, class 2015. You deserve it. Great job.